In today's video, I'm going to share a unique swing trading strategy that will totally blow your mind. This simple strategy is so easy that even beginners can do this. I backtested this strategy a hundred times to know its win rate. Make sure to finish the video because I will show the result at the end of the video. By the way, if you wish to join my community, you can find the link to my Telegram group in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as it helps us create more content like this for free. Enough talking. Let's get started. Open your chart in trading view. From here, we will make sure that we are in the one hour because this is the time frame where the strategy works best. After that, let's head over to the indicator search tab. In this strategy, we are going to use two RSI indicators. That's it. Simple, right? Now type in RSI. Click this one under technicals. Make sure to click it twice. Then close the indicators tab. Go to the first RSI. This indicator will give us the trend of the market. Click Settings and go to the Input section. Change the RC length to 7. And then change the time frame to 1 day. After that, go to the Style section. From here, change the color to orange. Next, unselect the ERSI-based MA. Scroll down and look for RSI upper band. Change it to 60 and then change the RSI lower band to 40. Unselect the middle band and change the background to white. This indicator will give us the value of the RSI on the daily time frame and determine the higher time frame trend. If the RSI is above 60, it is considered to be in an uptrend. On the other hand, if the RSI is below 40, it is considered to be in a downtrend. Now go to the next RSI indicator. This will determine our entry point. Click Settings and go to the Input section. Change the RSI length to 7. After that, go to the Style section. First, unselect the ERSI-based MA. Scroll down and unselect the Overbought and Oversold Gradient Fill. Now, the setup is ready. Entry Conditions Now that the indicators have been applied in the chart, let's take a look at when to enter into a position. First, we will need to see that the orange RSI is above 60. This means we are in an uptrend. Second, look for the purple RSI to go below 40. After that, wait for it to come back again above 40. That's all the conditions we need to be met. Entry and Exit Signal Once all of the conditions have been met, we can now put a long position. Place your entry at the bullish candle close. Put your stop loss at the recent swing low. And for the target, we will set it at two times the risk. As you can see, that's a winner. Let's try that one more time. Here, you can see that this candle has met all the conditions. With that, we can now enter into a long position. Set your stop loss at the recent swing low. And for the take profit, target a two times the risk. As you can see, it's also a winner. Now let me show you how to enter in a short position. First, we will need to see that the orange RSI is below 40. This means we are in a downtrend. Second, look for the purple RSI to go above 60. After that, wait for it to come back again below 60. Once all of the conditions have been met, we can now put a short position. Place your entry at the bearish candle close. Put your stop loss at the recent swing high. And for the target, we will set it at two times the risk. Now, let's see how this trade plays out. As you can see, that's profitable. Let's try that one more time. In here, you can see that this candle has met all three conditions. With that, we can now enter into a short position. 
set your stop loss at the recent swing high. And for the take profit, target a two times the risk. As you can see, it's a winner. Backtesting. I hope you understand the rules of this strategy. Now, let's find out its win rate. I backtested this strategy a hundred times. Now, here are the results. Look at this chart. I've tried the strategy on Bitcoin using a one hour time frame. The total trade range reached 459 days with a 65% win rate. If you have $1,000 as capital in your portfolio and use $50 per trade with 20 times leverage, you will end up having a 223% increase in your portfolio size, which will total $3,231 in final account size. Now that's the end of the strategy. I hope you learn more in this video. So if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss more videos like this. Also, I put my Telegram link in the description below. You can join my Telegram community so you can be updated on my current affairs. As always, thank you for your time and see you on my next video. Goodbye.